Aries. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's go ahead and get to your reading for the week. This will be your general reading for the week of November 27th through December 3rd. We'll take a look at the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future. If you've never been to my channel before, I do not take jumpers. I wait for my guides and angels to tell me the cards are in the order that they need to be in. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the week with the immediate past, the current situation, and the immediate future. See, you've been doing a lot of internal thinking, huh? Coming up with those good and true decisions, looking to the earth for guidance, all that you believe in, that's a great thing. Um, we do see the Four of Pentacles. They want you to know that you need to take your head out of the clouds just a little bit and come back to earth just a tad with all that new knowledge that you have, okay? And the undercurrent for the reading is the lover's card to truly understand the ins and outs of the things that you love and to truly understand the holiness of that union when you're brought together by the divine. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate past. We have the high priestess and we have the offer from the spirit coming through with the three of swords. And then we have the King of Swords. You were acting in true compassion and in true fairness and kindness in all your endeavors. And they want you to know that you can stop fighting with yourself now. You made the right choices. Allow that tower moment to come. Just allow it to come. Go ahead and let the past go. It's no longer serving you. You don't have to keep trying to fix it. You can let it go now. It's okay, you, you, you've done the very best that you can do. You've laid all your cards on the table. You have done everything that you possibly can. And now it's just time to let it go. Please let it go that so you can move forward and do the work that you came here to do because in the future, you're getting a brand new offer and it is coming through to where you're truly gonna see exactly who you are and the beauty that lies within your heart and soul and though you'll feel like it's a lot and that you have to do a lot on your own, you'll have some internal struggles, just know that you're not alone. You are truly loved and your soulmate is with you. And the divine is truly, truly blessing you to help you learn the ins and outs of all things, the intricacies of marriage and union and the divine and the relationship between the earth, the moon and the stars the heaven above, the earth beneath our feet. When you truly start to learn how everything works together, you'll truly start to understand how loved you are and how truly blessed this union is and how you don't have to worry and you don't have to fight and struggle with yourself anymore. You can reach out to the heavens above and to the universe, to the astral realms and to the ethereal realm and the angelic realm the scrolls of time and the astral library just there waiting for you to access to have the knowledge to get those answers that you need so that you can see you are no longer alone you are connected to the collective consciousness and truly guided and all you need to do is ask for the answers and they will come to you you just have to ask and be ready to accept those answers all right let's go ahead and get some clarity Let's go ahead and see what in the immediate past, what this offer from the spirit was that had you thinking you had to be alone so much and got you thinking in your head so much. Get out of your head, man. Just get out your fucking head, get back to your heart. Yeah, we don't belong in our heads ever. Our heads get all fucked up. Our heads, they just, they're a mess. You know, so many things thrown on us by the world. You know, it's it's when we go for our heart that we truly understand and connect and get those answers that we need from the heart. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here. Yeah, we have the five of swords. You know, you thought it was time for you to go. You were done. You had the seven of swords too. You were shitting and getting. And with the queen of cups, yeah, you were done. He said, no, I got my shit, I'm done, I'm out of here. Surprise. That's not how it works, guys. No, you get to come back and realize that you need to share your wealth. You need to share your knowledge. You need to share your love. 
You don't get to keep it all inside for yourself. That's not how you, it works when you live for the divine, when you truly raise your awareness and expand your consciousness to make it to the 5D from the, five, from the 3D. That's not how life works, I assure you. All right, I know that's why you're having the internal struggle, but let's go ahead and get some clarity here on this work that you're doing so diligently. Afraid of that tower moment, arguing with yourself that you don't want to share your knowledge, your abundance of knowledge. Come on, share what you know. It's going to be okay. There is that new offer. And you do need to take it. You need to start sharing and collaborating with others. All right. And know that the Queen of Swords, yes, we know. And then we have the Six of Swords moving to smoother waters. And you are. As soon as you allow that tower moment to come, as soon as you let go of your pride and your arrogance, all right, and you allow the divine in, You'll finally see that what was in the past was meant to be in the past. And it brought you to this moment so that you truly can go on to smoother waters and to truly do your work diligently. Because when you start to see the future, oh my gosh, when you start to see the clarity of who you are, oh my goodness, you are just going to shine and sing from the depths of your soul through the heavens above with true gratitude and love in your heart. You truly are. You're going to see it. Let's go ahead and get some clarity for you on this new offer and the overwhelmed feelings. You know, when you truly love someone, you have to let go of yourself too. You have to understand who they are. You want yourself to thrive as a child of the divine, but you want your other half to as well. You want them to thrive and sometimes they could be hurting and they could be going through a tower moment of their own and they need some understanding. And sometimes you just have to get out from your own fucking head, get out of your own way and reach out to others to see that you really are quite well off. You really are quite good. Yes, we know. The nine of swords, it just seems so all overwhelming and overbearing, but the universe wants you to know to go ahead and take it. Go ahead. Let that death come. Go ahead and let that ego go. you got to transcend the ego mind to make it to the 5D. Try meditation. I'll see if I can get it pinned. I'm working on it. Meditation truly is a key to the 5D if you use it. And it doesn't have to be guided meditation. Just allow your heart to open up. Truly let it open up. And just to see that once you stop focusing on the things that you've lost and you turn around and look that the universe is offering to you a truly glorious offer and are going to make your cup so filled with true abundance, overflowing with love and kindness in all things. And you truly will be able to look down and know of all the things that you have within your life. Just please accept this new offer. Do away with the old that's no longer serving you and come forward always with love and kindness. Show compassion for the broken heart of the little one inside. Show compassion and forgiveness to the critic, the ego who wants to keep beating you up and keep you down. They don't understand and they're just afraid. Show the kindness and compassion. Let the heartache heal and move forward with the divine and true love and kindness and forgiveness. And know that the world is yours. You truly are going to live in abundance. Just please let go of the past and the pain and accept this new offer of love. This new offer to thrive within the world. Let's go ahead and get you a moon card. You're going to have a great week. You're just going to have to finish closing off those cycles. And I know it's hard. I do. But we have another full moon coming. And we'll be able to step into our power. And truly clear our auras. And to step into who we are. 
just please keep going forward and keep healing your heart and allow this offer to come through. Don't shut yourself off. Continue to heal. If you need some help, reach out. I am a life coach, spiritual life coach, intuitive energy healer. I even do personal readings. Reach out to me if you want. Luck is on your side. It truly is. You have got such a glorious future coming. You truly, truly do. And the conclusions truly are within reach. You truly are going to see how beautiful you are. And how everything in your life has brought you to this moment. To bless you with true abundance in your life. All right, bright blessings to you always. I hope you have a beautiful week. I truly do. You'd like a sacred destiny card? Okay. Let's go ahead and get a sacred destiny card. Well, your destiny is written. I can see it. You just need to quit arguing with yourself. Allow the pains of the past to heal. And allow this new offer to come through to your heart. Into your life. And allow it to propel you forward and lift you to the heavens above. Truly, to the heavens above. Where there is no wrong or meanness or hatred. There's total love and kindness. True abundance of love. All you have to do is remember to continue to speak your truth. Speak your truth and allow the truth to be spoken inside your soul and heart. Please. And try, try so hard not to lose your focus. All right, on the bigger picture, the things that are important. And remember, please remember to connect to the community when you're hurting and not to pull back, okay? The community, when you open your heart, can truly become a gateway of a different type. A gateway that allows that love and kindness and true abundance into your life as you allow your heart to soar to the heavens above and truly heal all the wounds of the past and just feel this overabundance of love just coming out from every pore. And then you'll see that you truly are beautiful and loved worthy of a glorious life. And they just wish to give it to you. Please just raise your spirits higher. Please. You know, there is a song by Ronnie James Dio. Uh, is it Ronnie James Dio? No, Richie Blackmore. Man on the Silver Mountain. Raise my spirits higher. Come and make me holy again. Absolutely. Let the divine take away your pain and make you holy again. Truly allow that love to shine. You already are holy. You just got some pains going on inside of you that you need to be taken away. And the universe wants to do that for you. They want to bring you so much love and beauty into your life. All you have to do is accept this offer. All right, love and light to you always. I wish you the very best. I truly do. Bright blessings to you always. Namaste. If you like my videos, please remember to hit like, subscribe, and come back for more. Bye-bye. Okay,